بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو آر کلاس آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر عادل رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ہیو ٹو لرن این ایس ایل او فرام گریڈ سکس یونٹ نائن اینڈ اٹس آر ایس ایل او اباؤٹ ریڈنگ اینڈ کریٹیکل تھنکنگ سو لیٹس فائنڈ آؤٹ وٹ آر ایس ایل او از اینڈ وٹ وی ہیو ٹو لرن ٹوڈے ان دس ایس ایل او سو ہیئر فرسٹلی دی کمپیٹنسی آف دس ایس ایل او از ریڈنگ اینڈ کریٹیکل تھنکنگ اینڈ it's our lecture three of this chapter and our main topic the central matter of discussion about today's slo is asking higher order question and responding to such questions as well so let's go further here we have the slo which we have to address in this lecture so let's read what is the slo ask and answer simple and higher order questions to guide assesses reading why is it is the author saying this right now why did the author choose this word how is this different from what i read somewhere else so such type of questions are actually considered as the higher order questions so in this slo we will focus on what is meant by the simple and what is meant by the higher order question what they are how we form them how we ask them and how to respond such type of questions so let's go further the second slo is read and view a variety of reading age appropriate and high interest books and text from print and non print sources a personal recount diary entries biographies interpersonal text letter notices and notes so in this slo we will focus on a letter a formal letter and with the help of this formal letter we will understand what is meant by the simple and what is meant by the higher order question we also attempt some higher order questions and simple questions from this letter which is as the main text of our lesson so let's go further i hope you guys have understand what is the slo so here is the brainstorming activity let's do brainstorm about today's slo think about what deeper question you can ask about a text like why did this happen or what is the author's purpose so we can ask simple question about anything it's very easy it's very common what's your name Wh what is it is or ask about some noun some action but there are not like the simple questions only in the language or we can say that in around the world there are some questions which are which are more tougher which assess you in next level like why it is happening how it is happening why author use this word why author write this word so these type of questions are actually considered the higher order skills because they check your analytical abilities your critical abilities and on much deeper level you have to understand the text to understand to respond such type of questions so let's go further start reading these questions so here we have the question and their types so let's start reading asking and answering question is our main topic and here we have two types of question the simple questions simple questions are actually used with the question words like who what when where when something is happening where something is happening what that thing is who is doing that thing so such type of questions are actually considered as simple question like who is writing the letter what the letter is about when the right uh, letter is written where the letter is written so such type of questions are very simple and we don't need to go through the text on deeper level to understand such type of question or to respond such type of questions but here is another category which is considered as higher order questions so what is meant by the higher order questions higher order questions are actually associated with the hots your higher order teaching skills they are taught through the higher order teaching skills that's why we can say that them the higher order questions because they assess your higher order skills like analysis skills like critical understanding or such type of things so because they assess your analytical abilities your critical abilities your higher order abilities that's why they are the higher order questions so what type of questions they are why is the author saying this so such type of question when you find when we when we try to find out the cause of something 
the underlying concept of something, the base of something, the purpose of something because these type of questions are only addressed through the analytical abilities or critical abilities. That's why such type of questions are actually considered as higher order questions. So here we ha have another example. Why did the author choose this word? So we can get to know that why he would choose this word or choose that word. But for the sake of understanding why he choose this word we have to understand the text on a deeper level we have to enhance our abilities to critical abilities we can address such type of questions with our critical abilities so that's why it's a higher order question how is this different from what i read somewhere else so such type of questions are actually which are mostly started with the why and how these type of questions are most of the time considered as higher order questions because they assess your higher order learning skills they assess your critical abilities your they assess your comprehension skills they assess your analytical abilities that's why they are considered as higher order learning higher order questions because they assess the higher order learning skills and for the sake of responding such type of questions you have to read the text or understand the text on the deeper level not on the surface level you have to know about each and everything's cause each and everything's reason and something like that so let's go further let's read the definition simple question focus on retrieving uh, retrieving facts and direct information so they are very simple they are uh, supposed to be asked for the sake of information but higher order questions require interpretation explanation and critical thinking beyond the text so for the sake of addressing higher order questions what you have to do you have to interpret the text uh, explanatory manner you have to think beyond the text you don't have to think about only the text but you have to think the context of the text the writer of the text why the author is writing this you have to know that you have to know the historical context of the text you have to know about the genre you have to know about the author style so this is how you can respond to the higher order questions because they are actually concerned with your analytical and critical skills that's why you have to inter interpret the text on next level for the sake of understanding or addressing such type of questions so i hope you guys have understand what is meant by the higher order question so let's find out we have some questions from our text let's read the question and then we will try to find out with the example of text to uh, and try to find out these questions with the example of the text of the lesson so let's find out uh, firstly the question let's read the question what are the effects of air pollution on living things so as you guys see that it starts with what and it's just asking about simple effects it's just asking about the simple information and you can address this question you can respond to this question by by just doing uh, doing a reading of the text so that's why it's a simple question we can say that it's a simple question it's not a higher order uh, higher order question the second question suggests some ways to reduce water pollution so here also he is just want to ask some suggestion he is not asking something difficult he is not asking something uh, like which you have for which you have to understand the text on the deeper level or which for which you have to analyze something he is just asking some things that's why it's also a simple question here we have the third question discuss and explain why it is important to keep the environment free of pollution so this is the question which we can say that higher order question HOQ because this question is actually asking to discuss and explain so discussion and explanation can only be done on any topic when you have a deep knowledge about that topic you understand the topic in a very well manner so that's why it's actually checking your deep interpretation your analysis skills your critical skills that's why this question is actually a HOQ or we can say that higher order question why do we write a letter to the editor of the newspaper and highlight any issue so this is another question which cannot be addressed through the text but it is beyond the text because it is not from the body of the text instead it is about the yonder of the text with the yonder of the text is letter so 
the question is that why we re why we write letters why this yonda is there so because it's beyond the text that's why it is an other higher order question which instigates you to understand the text in a different manner in an advanced manner for the sake of responding them you have to uh, go beyond the text so i hope you guys have understand what is meant by the simple questions and what are the simple questions and what are the higher order questions so here we have the text of the lesson you guys have to go through this text and through the reading of the text you will definitely understand the answers of the simple question but for the sake of understanding the higher order questions what you have to do you have to uh, understand the context of the text the background information of the yonra and other things about the text uh, on which your, your teacher will be guide you so i hope you guys have understand the different types of questions so here is the text do read it and after reading that text what you have to do you have to do the classroom activity and in the classroom activity we have the same questions which we have discussed in this lecture and we identify them as higher order questions or the simple questions so you have to attempt these questions after reading that activity uh, after reading that text and it's your actually the classroom activity i hope you guys have understand how to identify them and how to respond these questions let's go further here we have a simulation link this simulation also gives you some more information about hot's higher order teaching skills or higher order questions and the simple questions and what is the difference how to respond them how to address them let's go further here we have a worksheet pause the video attempt this worksheet according to the knowledge of this slo let's go further here we have a homework the homework is also centered upon a higher order question attempt this question according to the knowledge which you have gained through this video so let's go further here we have a resource pack this resource pack will assist you to develop SLOs to, to develop your skills according to the SLO. So let's find out what the video was about. The video was about the simple and higher order questions. We understand them, we uh, see different examples of them and then we try to identify simple and higher order questions. I hope you guys have understand. If you find any issue, any question, any doubt, you can ask in the comment section and ask from your teacher as well. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.